Hi everyone, it's your girl Gina, the online biz expert. And today's brief video is to show you how to install the add question feature on your Facebook page. So let's jump right in. So if you're a page admin, one of the things you may know is that there's this feature called add question which allows you to install a poll on your page. Now, here's a kicker. Facebook has this feature built into groups. So I'm going to go over here to one of the groups that I administer. And I'll open it up just to demonstrate for you. So if you look over here, you'll see there's the feature Ask Question. And this allows you to install a poll. You can ask something and then install a list of questions up to 10. Although you can have people add more. So I'll show you that in a minute. So there it is in a group. Now let's go over to one of the pages I manage. Um, first, I need to switch over to manager because right now it's pulling me up as if I'm just a person. So I'm going to go over here and open myself as a manager of the page, which I just did. Now, if you notice, you don't see the option to add a question here on the page. So this is the way that it's a hack, but it's a legal, it's, it's a legal hack. And it doesn't do anything to your Facebook page. It doesn't do anything to your computer. Um, so you can go ahead and use this. Now, here's the thing. You have to do this every time you want to install a poll on your page because it doesn't save to the page. So let's get started. Where it says Offer and Event, you want to right-click and hit Inspect Element. And when you're doing that, you're opening up the code that controls your Facebook page. And this is the line of code right here at the top that we want to use. And it's called UL class equal UI list underscore and it ends in 4KS. So that I, yours might be a little different, but that's the line that we want to use. And usually when you click on inspect element, you're going to open with the element at the top of, of the bar that you see. So you want to go right there and click on that now. We have to change this code, but before I show you the next step, what I'm going to do is click over to where I have my code. I already have my code downloaded, and I'm, I'm going to provide a link below so that you can also download this code, and it'll work on any page. So I have my code downloaded and highlighted, so I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. Now what I want to do is right-click, edit as HTML, and then I want to overwrite it with what I just did. And I want to close. Now, here is the Ask Question feature added to my page. Now, I'm not going to go and add a new one. I'm going to show you one that I did for my client earlier. So here I installed it earlier today for them, or not so long ago. And so this is the um, poll that I added. Now, you have the option of allowing people to add additional um, poll questions, and I left that option open because this Facebook defaults to just 10, and if you don't allow the addition of poll questions, you'll just be stuck with the 10 answers. So I left it open so in case any of our fans wants to add something else. So it's pretty simple. And it's, like I said, there's nothing scary about it. I know sometimes people don't like to always download code, but you're not downloading this code to your computer. You're putting it on your Facebook page. And again, it's only temporary and it will work. The question or the poll will remain on your page as long as you keep it there. But you can't add a new one unless you go through those steps that I just described to you. So basically, it's... A hack it's a legal hack it's you, you know when you go to do this the first time I went to do this actually I got a little pop-up message from Facebook saying you know be sure that you're not doing anything illegal or you don't have any corrupt code virus etc etc I tested the code out I stripped it out I made sure it was a clean code and it is and like I said it doesn't install anything on your computer it um, it just overwrites the code on Facebook on that page for that instance. So there you have it. Now, if you think that this is useful to people that manage um, Facebook pages, absolutely please free to go ahead and share it.
And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you would just hit the subscribe button right now. And of course, I encourage you to just share this with anybody that might benefit from it. So thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you on the next video.